Hey guys, what's going on? Um, I just recently got tagged by Quick Freeze 4. And, um, a tag is basically, you know, it's five questions, you answer them, and you tag other people, and then they have to answer the question. I'm not gonna tag anybody, because everybody who I really wanted to tag, like Nostalgic Dan, Playlibs, and uh, I know, Quick Freeze 4, and Boosie, were already, um, tagged, so it wouldn't really make sense for me to tag them again, or tag anybody really, right now, but um, the first question is, what is your favorite brand of chocolate, and um, I love Kit Kat, um, Kit Kat and some Kinder chocolate, I mean Kinder is from my hometown, well not hometown, but home country, Germany, and um, I have to support them, of course, but, um, also because, I mean, that's the chocolate I grew up with. And, uh, I mean, you guys growing up with, what is it, I don't know, Reese and some American chocolates that we don't have in Europe. Um, I grew up with, you know, cho chocolate out of, um, <clears throat> my home, like, my home country. The second game is, what is a game you love, but everybody seems to hate? Um, I have three games here, on the PlayStation 3 and, um, and Xbox 360, that I think, um, deserve a little bit more recognition, or a little bit more, um, than, that it has. First of all, it's Street Fighter 4, um, well, I'm not saying that this is a terrible game, and I, it's just like a guilty pleasure for me. I'm just saying that when Super Street Fighter 4 came out, like this was just thrown in a garbage can. I know that Super Street Fighter 4 is way better than this game. But when it, when when I bought this game a little bit, uh, I for twenty dollars, I had a lot of fun with this. I didn't care if Seth was cheap. I I didn't care if the Able was cheap. I didn't care if Zangief was cheap, I just loved it. I mean, that's the main thing of in Street Fighter, you have to practice to win. Anyways, um, moving on to the next game. Uh, I don't think anybody knows about this game, too. I mean, you see it and you're like, what? What? And also, a lot of people don't really play these types of games. And of course, me. Me European kid, um, I ha I had to buy pure football. Well, I actually wanted to buy it, but then um, I got it for um, I think it was like a celebration or something. Like I think my cousin bought it for me. Yeah, my cousin bought it for me. I just remembered. But anyways, um, this game got hammered in the reviews. Um, this is Ubisoft trying to get into the whole um, street soccer genre. Which is uh, pretty broken by now. Um, FIFA Street 3 was terrible. Um, this is better than FIFA Street 3. If you see this and FIFA Street 3 right next to each other, please buy this one. Because this game is is um, pretty challenging in a, in a sense of um, shooting too. It's not just the enemy, the the... the the AI that's, you know, really good, but it also has some, you know, challenges with your your actions. Next up is a game that has a lot of love, a lot of hate, well, actually, a lot of hate, not that much love, <laughs> and that is um, the 2009 release of Bionic Commando, and, um, I mean, a lot of people who are really retro people who played Bionic Commando um, hate this game because it's very different than it, it is. I, I mean, I played Bi Bionic Commando and um, I just realized that how different it is. I played, you know, Bionic Commando on um, some emulators just to check, like, um, what this game is based off of. And it's very loose um, based. The, the gameplay is very loosely based on the original, but still, I I thought it was a enjoyable, um, uh, you know, third-person kind of action shooter game, and, um, 
I had a lot of fun with it. You had to be, I mean, my favorite thing to do in the game is like, um, when you, when you go with your bionic arm, and then you just, um, try to stealth them, but you can't really stealth attack them, that's weird though. But, um, you know, climbing up uh, buildings is very satisfying, because, yeah, and I really, really recommend this game. I, I really like it. Next up is my favorite YouTubers, and, um, I have more than 100 subscriptions, and, um, this is a very difficult question. Well, you know what? For this one, I'm going to throw out the obvious ones, like, um, you know, Classic Game Room, you know, Angry Video Game Nerd, Pete Door, Happy Console Game, Game 81 you know, EMU Review. I'm going to throw these all out and, and get some people who have a little bit less. I mean, I'm not saying that they don't have a lot of subscribers, I'm just saying that they have a little bit less, um, no, uh, they don't get shout outs that much. So I'm gonna go for Nostalgic Dan 1 is amazing. He's he makes a lot of good videos and um, his opinion is very dif different and um, and I think Nostalgic Dan is actually very similar to me too. Oh who else? Quick Freeze 4 who tagged me has a awesome crazy collection. I saw some of his um, you know in in the background you can see his collection. Jesus and um, who else is good? Splatter Trigger is awesome. If you like, you know, old school RPGs and imports and stuff, definitely check out Splatter Trigger. Um, who else? TV and Lust. Um, uh, it's a great channel. If you, uh, you know, like kind of like niche games and RPGs, definitely check out his channel. And um, who else? Player Lifts is good. Boosie's awesome. Head Robo, um, also Finn Gamer, I mean, Luke Morse One, Muragaro Five Five Three. There are so many people in the game community that um, I mean, Jumble Junkie. I mean, so many. I can't even say like my favorites. Uh, well, by the way, I'm not saying that I don't like the Angry Video Game Nerd. I'm not saying that I don't like Mark from Classic Game Room. I love their videos. I'm just saying that I'm not going to mention them. <sighs> and next up, it's what are your rarest games? And I haven't been collecting for a long time. Um, maybe uh, a year, almost a little bit more than a year, about a year and a month, and, um, uh, I don't have that many rare games, but, um, I, I, I thought, I, I found out some that are a little bit rarer, and at this time, I will teach the world something, how do you pronounce this game, um, it's Xenosaga, episode 1, Der Wille zur Macht, okay guys, just rewind it and listen to it, if you can pronounce it, good. If you can't, just say it. It's even like episode one. Um, I found this for four bucks on eBay. Nobody was bidding on it. Um, I got this for a little bit. It's it's in terrible condition, but the discs are in okay condition. But it is um, I it it doesn't come with a manual, but it is. Um, in the box, and the box is terrible. I mean, of course, I can buy the box and the manual for cheaper. But I have a black labeled um, Final Fantasy Nine. So yeah, I have it. Got four. I think it was ten bucks. Um, next up, we have a video game that is not rare, not rare at all. You can buy it for thirty-five dollars or forty dollars right now. In retailers, but um, I give it give it a few years or like, yeah, it will be rare. Last but not least, my message to the community, guys, um, have a, I hope you had a fantastic Easter, and if you didn't have Easter like me, um, hope you had a fantastic long weekend or 
It won't break for that matter. And I hope you stay healthy and I hope you stay connected in the community. My name is Lukman. See you next time.